welcome back guys to the next chapter in this chapter we're going to be unwrapping this model so I would select all of this model each one to go to hit the one key to go to my to go to the low poly version I select this guy first of all let me open my let me open my UV editing UV editor workspace now the first thing I'm going to do is we to go to modify I'll go to layout go to layout under layout just change this shading part into 20 let me I'll just leave this at 2k change this to 20 shading part into 20 and leave the rest at default uh, okay and apply okay I'll close that so starting with this piece I'm going to let me bring this on I'm going to open my transform transform create cut and so unfold and arrange and layouts just those few so I'm going to start by selecting this piece I'll delete let's see okay first of all let me let me uh, object mode select this piece I select selected okay I select hold, right click to right click and hold and go to share mode or you go to share mode this is share mode here select this shell uh, I'll delete that so I want to create mine from scratch so how do I go about doing that face mode select select all this face scroll down click on best plane drag a selection around all these points and hit enter on, on your keyboard so that should make a UV shell for us now I have a UV shell so I want to cut this into 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 another piece ok I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this so going to edge mode double click on this edge so to, to select that loop I'll cut that cut that in piece show mode select these two shells drag a selection around these two shells and click on fold go to the E key rotate this like so take this like so W drag this in here drag this guy out so I, I need to cut that I need to cut that that piece go to edge mode no that's way too much I, I don't want to go around this so let me just do this again I'll just double click in here select that edge and I'll just cut on that edge I'll do a cut on that edge so probably not okay, for a better way to do this if I should cut this from the top cut this from the top cutting this from the top get the closer view on this okay yeah that should be it Okay. What do you cut in there? Select this piece and on food. I'll click on food. Select this, click on food.
okay select this guy select okay scroll down click on orient shell orient shell orient shell let me keep this straight also let me see where this is facing it's facing like this I think it would be a bet better option if I should have this facing like this also this facing like this and this piece facing like this I'll select these three guys I'll click on layout so that should lay this out on this UV shell I'll come in here I'll click on textures check a pattern to see how this is working to check if there's a new word stretching on this piece I think this is fine Yeah, this is fine. Can live with this. Maybe can do another cut. Uh, edge mode. I turn this off. Turn the checker pattern off. Let me see. So around here, I'll do a cut. UV shell. Select these two shells, and I'll do an unfold. Do an unfold. To know where this is sitting. Okay. This is this piece. I like to flip that flip V something like this should be fine select these two orange shells select all of these and click on layout So this piece is this piece. This piece is this piece in here. Then this piece is that piece at the back. Let me see. Maybe this should be facing. I think this should be facing downwards instead. So let me flip. Or flip this this way. Flip this this way also, okay. Facing down already, this is fine. I'll do another layout on this. I'll save this. I'll save this. This is fine. So I go to the next piece. Let me go to. Let me work on this. Let me work on this piece. Uh. Okay, object mode. I still selected now. This cut looks red, so I'll delete all of this. I'll start afresh. Face mode, okay. Object mode, less object, center pivot. Face mode, select all these faces. With a base plane, draw another selection around this, enter to apply. Then, nice to figure out where to lay out my cuts. Let me kind of cut out. Going to edge mode, I can cut out this piece. I'll do a cut on that piece. A cut on that piece.
click on this piece also select all this piece I'll do an unfold do orient shells orient shells 90 okay let me just lay them out so I can see them properly to adjust they will have this in here going to edge mode click on that edge and find that piece in there okay so click on this edge I'll do a cut and I'll do an unfold okay I think I added that cut in the wrong place let me do it here instead let me do it here instead add the cut no undo add the cut here and unfold this okay so that should be below this which is fine um, I'm thinking I should still cut this on the other side now for this inward piece I can add the cuts add the cuts in here share mode select select these two or do an unfold do an unfold on them Okay. Let me use my rotate tool to get them to get this right. I'll select two, two, two of these and click on. Uh, nope, I don't need to orient them. Let me get this in the right position. I should still cut this right in the center again. I'll do a cut. Select these two shells and I'll do an unfold. Unfold. Okay. And that's one piece. And then we have the other piece. So let me. Let me get this right. Should be like something like this. This also should be something like this. Select this to I'll do an orient shell. Select all of this and click on layout. I'll do a save on this. Okay, that's fine. And let's test this with a checker pattern to see if this is working correctly okay not bad uh, some wet stretching around this piece mm. Let me kind of cut, cut this out of this piece, edge mode. Do the same here also. Do a cut. Select those two on food.
select this UV layout check my to come to my check up pattern again so I want to fix the, the texture density 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 for this so I'll set, let me turn this off select one of these under transform I'll click on get select this down here click on set select this to click on set and go back in here and turn on my checker pattern okay I should still call this a bit more. Let me do a, let me do a cut in here. Edge mode. Double click. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do a cut. All the cuts in there. Select these three. Unfold. Select all of this. Lay this out. I'm still going to do a better arrangement for this. But for now, let's leave this as it is. Checking this again to be sure if everything is working correctly. That's fine. Okay. Let me try and get this. Let me try and get this in the right spot. Let me try and get this in the right spot. That's fine. Flip this. We flip all of this. Okay. Get this in a better position. Around here. Select all of this again. Let me do UV layout on this. I still am doing it this way. Not bad. We'll save this. Go out of isolation mode. Go to the next subject. Let me do for this. I'll isolate this. I'll delete this guy. Just unwrap this guy. Face mode. Select all this face. Oh, it's best plane. Select all this again. Enter. Edge mode. Can start. Let this edge look. This edge look. I'll do a cut. Select this. Unfold. Edge mode. Select this edge and this edge. I do a cut. Select all of this. Okay. So this name do an unfold. Orange shells. Orange shells. Let me get this in the right position. Select all of this layout. So check in here. Check a pattern. Not bad. Okay. 
save this uh, go out of this look for the next piece I'm sure you guys get the idea already so just not to waste you guys time I'm going to stop this here and then going go in and unwrap this other parts of the of the mesh can okay, I just do an example with one of these so you get an idea of what I'm going to be doing for the other piece let me start with uh, object mode select I should select delete this face mode select all of this and do a um, base plane base plane select all of this enter so this is really what we're going to be doing here I'll go to edge mode double click on this edge double click on that edge do a cut still on edge mode double click on this edge click on that edge or do a cut select everything and do enough and do that do an unfold select all of this do orient Select all of this and then just lay out. So that this should work just fine. Yeah, this is this this is not bad. This will work just fine. I'll save this. Turn this turn this off. Go back in here. So I'm going to do this for the last piece and, I, and I'll come back. When we come back, we're going to set up our mesh to export to ZBrush. So I'll see you guys in the next chapter.